So a lot of those stories this weekend. Crews from South Florida Department of Agriculture, by the way, are going to be on site today. The state has hired a forensic team to investigate the Florida free fall. Of course, after 14 year old Tyree Sampson died and fell from the ride on March 24th. And Amanda McKenzie is live in studio this morning. Amanda, the owners saying that they actually welcome this investigation from the Department of Agriculture. That's right. And the owners say they are fully cooperating with the investigation. In addition to the state forensic team, the family of Tyree Sampson has their own attorneys going Going forward with an investigation. Attorney Michael Haggard says he will do everything he can to get justice for Tyree and his family. That includes getting answers as to how the 14 year old could have fallen to his death from the Orlando Freefall ride. We've talked to several witnesses who have been on that ride, complained about the harnesses in, in that night to several weeks prior. To Haggard says he plans to file a wrongful death lawsuit this week, claiming there are design issues with the Orlando freefall, as well as a lack of seat belts, warning signs regarding the weight limit and scales. The suit will even include the ride manufacturers from overseas. Now, coming up, I'll have more on what Commissioner of Agriculture at Nikki Freed has to say about the forensic team looking into Tyree's death. Live in the studio, Amanda McKenzie, Fox 35 News.